today's video is all about whether you should do masters after br or not now many questions who are doing br who have completed br have this question whether they should do masters or not now today's video is all about answering a few questions about whether to do masters or not how to do masters and the processes around masters so first of all you know the step one that you should follow is that you should clear the gate exam now gate exams benefit are this that they give you direct admission into nit's SPA Vijaywada through CCMT. SPA Vijaywada, for example, for the longest time was taking in students only through CCMT. That's the combined counseling. The combined counseling is a very good concept because, for example, uh, you know, you get a certain rank and you fill your CCMT or the combined counseling portal, you, you fill, your, fill in your details. As soon as you do that, what happens is that. Uh, you know automatically the counseling happens and then you don't have to go to the college to submit your documents you can actually submit it to any other college of ccmt which is in your state so it saves a lot of effort for the document verification now you know there are for a few colleges which are you know very good colleges like spa delhi spa vijaywada and iit rudki gate is a very essential criteria for admission though they also you know have a small interview of all the candidates before admitting them now for the mcp at iit khadakpur you know there is a direct admission through gates so you need to get a very good rank in the gate exam so talking about ranks you know if you get 1 to 100 and if you are general category you can choose which college you want to go in for 101 to 200 still a good uh, rank you know you can still you know uh, think of getting some good choice 201 to 400 you know it's about second and third counseling entries basically if you are general category and beyond that you know uh, there is a very good chance of you getting admission but beyond that you know it's less of your choice and more of what is available now gate is in ar or architecture and planning the gate code is ar and this is a theory based mcq you know exam with some questions which are theory based the link of the syllabus is in the description below now why should you do masters because it is going to further your interest for example you've done br but you are really really interested in green building so then you do masters in sustainable you've done br and you're really interested in landscape design so you do masters in landscape and so on uh, the whole list of possible masters is in the description below now it is also a stepping stone for a research career so eventually you want to do you know doctorate then masters is the stepping stone to doctor doctoral program or phd so this is the second reason why you should do masters number three teaching academics you know the new uh, council of architecture minimum you know standard for architectural education promotes that uh, people who want to teach should have masters apart from that uh, you know for a lot of government interviews for government jobs it is very important it gives you an edge if you have certain uh, exams that you have cleared like seed exam gate exam and you know all the other exams which are beyond your br so it's a good idea to have gate for all these purposes now another question a lot of people ask is college or course should i choose the college if i'm getting iit or should i take the course because a particular course i like and i'm getting that so you know people sometimes choose brand so they get admission into iit rudki into a allied course it's not murp or master urban planning or it is not mr but they still take it in like uh, lakes and river conservation or transport planning even though they are not uh, interested in transport planning so they would take it just because of the iit brand so eventually that's not a good idea it might give you some initial edge in a few interviews here and there that you are from iit or you have a brand but eventually that is not a very good idea because eventually your interest is what is going to matter apart from that you know for uh, uh, girls especially girl candidates there might be an issue of proximity so people they might choose a college which is in their state near their house so that is sometimes a factor but eventually the holy grail lies in your interest so take up the course in which you have an interest then should you wait next question very important lot of people ask should you wait 
or you should immediately do your masters after br now very simple answer if you are clear about your long term goals that okay i want to eventually become a teacher then don't wait even immediately after br start preparing in third year fourth year fifth year and then give the exam and immediately start your journey into masters and doctoral program if you are not clear you know that whether you want to do masters or not which course you want to do your masters in then what you should do you should explore but while you are exploring make sure you get a good rank in gate you know don't just meditate and explore and not worry about your gate exam score because that is eventually going to matter a lot now uh, how do you clear gate in a final exam that a lot of people ask gate exam is basically architectural theory so if you are in lower classes of br make sure that you are studying your theory subjects properly and if you are in the final year or you have lost your final year you know make sure that you revise the theory subjects and then you know there are a lot of good books available which have previous year question papers so have a look at them L some book links are given in the link below have a look at them and then you know start your preparation for gate prepare for gate and then do your masters in a subject of your choice so this was all about whether you should do masters after br thank you very much do subscribe to this channel like this video thank you